Bitmain just announced a low power mode for their ASIC miners. How low is low? Well, let's test it out. Today's video is sponsored by MinerPool.pro. MinerPool.pro is excited to announce the launch of their weekly Flux Reward campaign for GPU miners worldwide. Every Thursday, MinerPool will be giving away 50 Flux to 20 active miners on their Flux Pool. 50 Flux times 20 miners equals a total of 1,000 Flux every week, given away to miners just like you and me. Make sure you join flux.minerpool.pro and mine to get a chance of being one of those 20 lucky miners. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, over the last few days I've been seeing it on Twitter and finally today it dropped. So Bitmain has been advertising this low power mode and man, right now when efficiency is king, if I can get my main big ASIC miners to be using less watts, I will take it because they are so power hungry. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at what my Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro uses stock with the stock hash rate as well as the watts. And then we're going to install and go through step by step how to install the firmware for the low power mode. And we're going to test that out as well. So stay tuned. All right, so let's review exactly what was announced and where you guys can get the files and such. So on Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, look me up, Hobbyist Miner. No, the, it was too long, just Hobbyist Miner. Go ahead and follow me over on Twitter. I'm very active on there every day. So on Bitmain's Twitter account, uh, there was a post here not too long ago, and you can see here it says, Antminer Christmas Give Back S19J Pro Series Firmware Upgrade. The power efficiency will be promoted from the 29.5 JT down to 25.5, improved by 13.6%, which is awesome. And that dropped today, December 20th. Now, I took a look at their site, and it's not just for this model. It's for multiple different models, which is great, which I was happy about because I have the S19J Pro. So if you go over to Bitmain's website here, um, they actually have this banner at the top, and if you scroll through the banner, they have some advertisements, but here's the one that, that they have for the Hydro. And then there's also, uh, they have the other one here for the S19 series, which is like, heck yeah. I mean, I know a lot of us have the S19J Pros or you have the XPs, especially as a home miner, I will take it. So to find the firmware for this, all you have to do is go up to customer support, go to firmware download, Okay, so for me, I'll go ahead and pick SHA-256, and then when you pick from the drop-down your exact model, we have the S19J Pro that you can pick from that list. Now, take a look at the published date. That's important as well. You can see here, December 20th, and then also take note of the way the firmware is listed. You can see 2022, 12, and then they actually have 15 listed there. That must have been like when they actually like generated it. But you can see two things here. You have the S19J Pro merged firmware, uh, and they have the update here, low power mode. Please make sure the miner type and firmware type are the same before upgrading the miner, which is a no brainer. So now if I take a look at my unit and what it does stock, uh, I'm over on Wadham's website here. I'll put a link directly down below if you guys want to see more details over on Wadham's website. That's where I got my S19J Pro. You can see here, so stock, you know, it shows you the terahash and then it also shows you the watts. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see your normal watts are like 3050 plus you know you can see between the j and the j pro it's a very very close back and forth for there you can see it's super close so like we're using over 3000 watts right now to achieve over 100 terahash which is rough so here's what we're going to do so i'm going to get my s19j pro plugged in and set up i don't have it set up in the shed it's been most of my hardware that is not currently mining which is 99% of my hardware is in my house here in the basement in my storage room, which is pretty packed. You guys will see that in a minute, but I'm going to get my unit set up and plugged in there. And then we'll go ahead and test it stock with the current, with the previous firmware stock hash rate and Watts. Then we'll go through the process to upgrade it. And then we'll test it again to see kind of how we make out. 
All right, guys, so here is my S19J Pro, and you might be like, what the hell is this contraption going on here? So I'll put a video in the upper right-hand corner. I actually have two videos on this, the setup and install, and then actually the testing of this, but I call this my Bitcoin Canon. So I've actually removed the ASIC fans on the front and on the rear, and this actually has its own uh, dedicated airflow system in my shed. Like we have an intake coming in from outside, pipes in, goes through this AC Infinity eight inch inline fan. Uh, and then I can go ahead and regulate that and monitor that. It then taps into this shroud system. This is actually from Fruit and Associates and it goes directly into the ASIC as well into the power supply. I did keep the power supply fans and then it comes out on the exhaust side and actually exits my shed. This thing allows this to be quiet as anything. It doesn't make any noise. This makes all the noise, which is the fan. It's super, super quiet. So if you guys are interested, I'll put two links down below to that, the install setup of this step-by-step, -step, as well as then actually testing it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this set up and plugged in. These ASICs have two plugs down here. Uh, we'll hook them up to my 30 amp 240 volt and then we'll have ethernet up here as well we won't need to use the sd card slot because we do have the stock bitmain firmware on here from about a year ago and we'll be able to go into the gui and upgrade the firmware so let's get this plugged in and begin our testing all right so our asic is all plugged in it's only been up for under five minutes now but you can see we're right now at about 102 terahash which is awesome um, so what we're going to do is, uh, and if you're concerned about like temperature and stuff, my temperatures at the bottom, you guys can see that inline system works awesome. I love it. I love it. One of the best investments and in setups I've done. It took a lot of work, but it worked out well. Um, and uh, that Fruit and Associates shroud, ooh, that thing was a game changer. If you guys need a link, I'll put a link directly down below to it. So in here, you guys might be able to see at the very bottom, we are on the March 29th, 2022 firmware that's like the date of it so we're not too far back uh, a little about nine ten months there uh in, in that regard so what i've done is i've already come over here and i've downloaded the firmware that you guys can see right here just pick your model it's nice and easy i jumped the gun i know should not have, should not have downloaded so quick so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to system on the left hand side and then you're going to go to firmware upgrade once you're here, you just select that file that we just downloaded. You can see here is the one that we just talked about. And just to make sure I can see it's the December 2022. I'm going to set it to keep the same settings. I hope it holds everything. And we're going to go ahead and hit update. I'd give it about five minutes total and then come back to the page. All right, so we're back up and running. So I actually, after the firmware applied, um, it sat on the abnormal like hash rate warning in the top left corner and it didn't start hashing for a few minutes and maybe it was just me being impatient but I did go ahead and click the restart miner in the bottom right hand corner and within a few minutes everything came up and running I was of course a little concerned you know like uh you know how's everything gonna look is it gonna work but we're back up and running now so um taking a look we're about 103 tera hash with our averages there and I took a look at the um voltage meter at the wall and we're at 2997 watts right now at the wall now keep in mind i don't have the asic fans they're not plugged in directly so i have no asic fans so keep that in mind i just have the inline fan if you're interested the inline fan separately right now um it uses a total of 100 watts when it's at a speed of 10. i'm only running it at a speed of 5 which is 50 watts so i'm going to do all my calculations and discussions without keeping that in mind uh, just to kind of give you guys some numbers Looking at the low power mode now, let's go over to settings on the left hand side and you can see fan speeds actually unchecked. So you could adjust your fan speed as you wanted to. I have the dummy plugs actually in my ASIC because I have the inline fan plugged in, but here is the mode we're talking about. So click that normal mode and we're going to click low power mode and we're going to hit save and we're going to give it about five minutes. I want to see what the hash rate is after five minutes and what the watt is and we'll report back after that. All right, guys, so it's been five minutes and we can see here we have the low power mode enabled. Our average is about 78 terahash. So now let's look at our watts at the wall. So I went ahead and created a spreadsheet here to go ahead and show exactly the differences. So let's start at the top. Our normal mode was 103 terahash at 2,997 watts. 
Adding in the 50 watts for the fan, our inline fan, we're at 3,047 watts, which lines up with exactly what Bitmain is advertising at your 29.5. Now, if you go to our low power mode, we're at 78 terahash, which at the wall, it brings it down to 2,047 watts, a pretty significant amount. Now, if we add our 50 watts in for our inline fan, we're at 2,097. So our efficiency really comes down to about 26.8. Now, if we go back over to their website and take a look here, they're saying down to 25.5. I'm not seeing that low when it comes to that, but I should give it some time and kind of see where we end up coming in at. Um, you know, maybe the test needs a little bit longer. Maybe we're going to get, you know, even lower watts, but still, I can't complain. The low power mode is a huge win putting us now down at the wall at total 2,097 watts. All right, miners, that is going to wrap things up for today. Hell yeah, I will take less watts 100% of the time. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at Wadham. Wadam is a complete Bitcoin mining solutions provider and the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States. Wadam is your one-stop shop for everything ASIC mining, from Bitcoin miners ranging from the S19 Pro Hydro all the way up to the Antminer S19J Pro. If you're looking to take mining to the next level, Wadam has you covered. With facility build-out services, turnkey mining containers, power transformers, and finally complete hosting services. Check them out at the link down below in the video description. Thanks again to Wadham for supporting the hobbyist miner community.